Welcome everybody to episode 59 of Edge of Eternity. We've just left the Vanguard and we are returning to the Elysian field as per the instructions on our mission. Uh, we, we seem to have earned ourselves an AI. Uh-oh. Looks like our intel was correct. You there! The priestess, the rest of your oh, no. as well as yourself, are now in the consort's custody. Uh-oh. Okay, now it's three million. <laughs> this can't be good. Man, I'm glad I ended it where I did last episode. Don't beat yourself up over it, Darian. Letter or no letter. I would eventually have found out you survived. Argentus told... How long have you known about the Ascendants? Oh. So that's the reason. I should have known you wouldn't desert just because of cowardice. How long have you known about the Ascendants? <sighs> long enough. And at what point did you decide it was okay? From the beginning. Just stop, Korra. I know there's no way you would have agreed to this. You've seen the battlefields, Darian. The Ascendance is the only reliable method we have to turn things around. Reliable method? Is that what you call killing these innocent people? Yes. Seven deaths for a thousand saved. After years of slaughter, it has become as simple as that. Seven deaths? And you shrug them off like it's nothing! Don't you think I care? Do you think my choice was easy? Your choice was easy! All you had to do was say no! I'm not here to defend myself, Darian. Defend yourself? Is that what you think this is about? The soldiers down there are fighting a war, giving everything they have to push back the Archolites. And what are you guys doing at HQ? Taking the last thing these soldiers have left. Their goddamn lives! Yes, that's right. We sacrifice them. And I would do it again. How did you choose? Huh? What kind of sick selection process did you guys use? Let me guess. Let's round up the deserters. Oh, wait. There are no more deserters left in the cells. We better try something else. Ah, let's round up the troublemakers instead. The annoying ones who are always questioning orders. And the psych cases, too. If they're shaking too much to hold a weapon, we can find another use for them. Look me in the eyes, Commander, and tell me how you picked. They were volunteers, handpicked by the Sanctorium. You surely don't believe that hogwash. What I believe doesn't matter. I brought you here because I have a mission for you. Well, lop off my head right now, then. I'm done with the consort. And yet, you took the trouble to write us a warning letter about an impending war with the Corroded. Yes, because unlike you, I do care about the soldiers. No doubt. Why else would you risk getting captured? Maybe you thought Ilvana's decree would protect you. Your sister has quite a reputation at the Sanctorium, you see. Careful where you tread. Did you know she's in the middle of an important power struggle at the Sanctorium? They say she wants to depose the Elders. What? Man. In eight years, she's garnered considerable support in several of the fringe factions. To the point she's become a threat to the leaders of the organization. Oh no. By sending her away on a quest to find a cure for the corrosion, the Archpriest thought they could get rid of her. Some of them were even expecting her to slip up. Looks like they were right. The machine hybrid she's working with, the Techno-Mage, along with that scavenger, is reason enough for the Elders to brand her a heretic and expel her. Oh no. The report is already written. It's on my desk. You have a choice now. Either it remains here, far from the Elders' clutches, and you accept my mission. Ooh. Or... Enough! 
What is this dirty work you need done? To destroy a doppelganger. And what is that, exactly? A mythical creature that can take on the appearance of anyone it chooses. It can mimic everything. The looks, their voice, skills, oh. sometimes even... Does such a thing exist? They're extremely rare, but they do exist. I know that for a fact. And whose appearance did it? Wait, yours? <laughs> now I'm beginning to understand who you really are and for so long I thought you had your priorities right man Darian you're worried that this this doppelganger of yours will embarrass you in front of the consort here in Australia it's not a laughing matter Darian <laughs> it has already caused the death of several soldiers and many headaches for you I guess huh Oh, don't worry, I'll mop up the floor with him. Just the way I could easily mop up the floor with you. Watch it, Darian. I have been understanding and offered you a pardon. But I will not tolerate disrespect. Ooh, did I hit a nerve? Is it because I implied I'm stronger than you? Hey, you're the one asking me to kill it for you. You may as well admit you're not strong enough to do it yourself. Darian? I'm asking you to find a way to destroy it. Not to challenge it to a duel. Why not? I know how to deal with pompous buffoons. Two smacks of the sword and the problem is solved. I think you are in for a lesson, Darian. You will take this matter seriously. Oh my. Yes. Right. Let's take our argument outside then, Korra. You against me. Show the men what you're made of. Agreed. Uh-oh. Whoa, Darian, I'm thinking this might be uh, a little bit of, you know, a problem even for you. Prepare for the duel, then defy Commander Korra. Seriously? All right, let's have a look and see what, what we've got in equipment. So I have Edge, but Roaring Blade will give me more attack and keep and hit points and keep my speed. We might have to go with Roaring Blade, I think, because it's fully unlocked. So we're pretty we're pretty good, right? Yeah. So let's take let's take Roaring Blade and uh, and deal with yeah. Remove all the crystals. All right. We're going to crystal it up, otherwise we're going to be in a world of hurt. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to do this. Now that I think about it, this could be a real problem. All right. This one gives me yellow and red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So that gives me two greens, an ice blue, a yellow, red, and a dark blue. That gives me one green. And two dark blues, which is not ideal. Just be two yellows. I think I think I might be better off going this way. All right, let's see what we can give Darren. We want him to be fast, and we want him to have everything at his disposal. So lightning strike is a good one. Not that okay. Attack magic and defense is also really good. Defense and speed is probably the best thing I can give him. Five defense and five speed. I just need to make sure I give him one with some. Um... All right. So I think we're probably going to go with the defense and speed stone with the lightning. Oh no, that's just lightning strike. What does bold opening do again? No, we don't need it. Not for duel. We might regret it later though. All right, which way were we going? Okay, this gives me two greens, but it gives me four other colors. 
this gives me one green uh, but doesn't give me a light blue this doesn't give me red all right we are going to go this way though cyclone slasher okay this is attack defense and speed i think this is probably my best bet on that one shadow step and death mark i don't need death mark not for this battle but i do need shadow step magic haste and hit points magic haste no defense haste shadow step and water strike is pretty hard to pass up defense haste and hit points we'll see if i can get a, a like a, a shadow step and ooh, attack defense and speed is good Water Strike and Death Mark. Shadow Step and Death Mark. Okay. See, that's that's really hard to, to, to actually... Defense Haste and Hit Points. Okay, I'm going to give him this because Speed is going to save his life more than anything else. Time loop, icicle strike, bold opening, icicle strike and time loop. That's tempting. Tag defense, incantation speed. See that's, yeah. Hack magic defense and haste. Speed is good, but I think he needs a little bit more than just speed. Defense and haste. That's pretty good. What was the other one that was tempting me? That one. Alrighty, let me just see what he's already got on this stone. So he's already got lightning strike. So let's see what else he can get. So basically with this one, I'm looking at a duplicate. I'm just looking at something that makes him more powerful and faster if I can get it. Attack and defense is pretty good. Nothing really gives him speed. And I've already got the other spells. So Defense Breaker would be good. Ooh. Attack, Magic Defense and Defense. Where was that other one? Okay, 5 Attack five and 6 Defense. Versus 6 Attack and 7 Defense. That's not really a contest, is it? All right, we're going to take, oops, where was it? Yeah, we'll take that one. And he gets Defense Breaker, that's not too bad. So this should give him his fire. Okay, to Defense and Haste, Counter Stance and Acceleration, Acceleration, Fire Strike, Attack, Magic Defense. That looks pretty good. Acceleration, counter stance, haste, speed, and hit points. Defense, haste, and speed, and fire strike, and acceleration. Yeah, I don't see how I can actually turn, go past that one. Ready. Let's see what we've already got on the other green. The other green will give me cyclone slasher and dodging stance. All right, I don't think there's, oh no, there's death mark. Okay. Well, I think, hang on. Doesn't he already have death mark? Yeah, so we don't need to even worry about that. So we just need to worry about bonuses. Attack and magic. Okay. So we have attack and magic. 
magic defense and haste magic and magic incantation speed magic defense and haste does he have cyclone slasher at all yeah he does okay All right, so I think we're probably going to go with that magic defense and haste. All right, so now he's now he's crystalled up. He's got a better weapon than he had. He's probably faster than he was, and he's got a few options that he didn't have before. So we'll uh, we'll hopefully we'll just check in equipment and make sure he's got the spells we think he's got. I'm not seeing fire. Okay, dodging stance will keep. Fire strike, we're going to keep. All right, what don't we have? We have lightning. We don't have water. Ah, uh, did we not get that in the end? We didn't get water strike in the end. Okay. Acceleration does what? By ally, can he increase his own speed? I don't know if that's actually worth it to sacrifice Defense Breaker for, though. Deathmark, he's fighting. He's already got it. Cyclone Slasher. Yeah, all right. Let's leave that as is. We will see how that goes. Back to Darien. Let's have a look at his battle items. Firebombs. Yeah, I think we're right with that. Okay. Let's go and annoy Commander. What's his face? Who's that? What does she want? Four, five, six. What are you doing? Counting the millions you guys owe me. <laughs> oh man. Alrighty, I guess I guess let's let's get this over with. Are we ready? No, but we'll say yes. It'll be fine. I won't enjoy this. Nor will you. Hey. It's not breakable. We don't know his vulnerabilities. Let's use something that's going to uh, make him hurt for a bit. Uh, what's he going to hit me with? Guardian Angel. Hey, that's what's this. A resurrection blessing? Get serious, Cora. <laughs> oh, the commander's going to mop the floor with him. Uh, right, and then we're going to break his defense because we're going to need to. Oh no, this does not bode well. Darian's going to get his butt behind handed to him. To Ouch. Okay. Not vulnerable to lightning. Well, I don't expect him to be actually vulnerable to anything, but we're giving him extra damage from the fire. Let's go with fire again. He's going to smack me with something else. Okay, yeah, we are not going to beat him. We're going to do our best, though. He's guardian angeled me again. That's funny. Oh, no. Okay. I, I like this guy. Uh, yeah, we're not beating him. We need to... Let's throw another. Thought you could escape your fate by deserting. You are a soldier of the consort, Darian. Our blood is your blood, and our suffering is your suffering. Did he just keep your sermons to yourself? Wow. Okay, so his health is is low. I keep, I missed that. Ah, oh, again, Darian. I didn't realize what the what that he was actually taking damage. Boom. Oh, he's <laughs> right. I could have hit him again. Every time he does him damage, he heals him up. That's that's kind of ow. Okay. Ow. Uh, 
let's go with some more healing. I don't think it's going to do him an ounce of good though, because he's taking 2,000 points of damage in a go. Okay, but he's <laughs> he's being raised. Oh man, that's funny. Let's go with this special attack. I know, Darian's probably going to lose his cool somewhat badly here. I don't think it's going to do him too much good either. And then he punches him, yeah. Ooh. Well, it made a difference. The cold truth. Bam. Oh. Okay, well... I'm out of healing potions Take this. and I'm nearly out of MP as well. This is going to be interesting. I can't take this stupid charade anymore. This is a duel. Stay out of it. No, screw that. I'm taking things into my own hands oh, no. and both of your butts. Him <laughs> first for being such a prick and then you <gasps> for being such a pathetic loser. Oh my God. Intervene, soldiers. The lesson just got interesting. I dare you to try your stupid magic on me. I'm <laughs> Fallon! Darian, you're down to just using your sword, mate. <laughs> and he healed him again. That's funny. Fallon. I don't know. Now she's faster and can get herself into trouble more quickly. Darian needs some MP. Oh no, that, that a coup de grace, that cannot be good. <laughs> yeah, ow. And that settles it. <laughs> now you probably understand why the situation needs someone with your ingenuity. No, I don't. You're clever, Darian. And now, you know how badly you're outmatched physically. But you're resourceful. And now you have learned more about your opponent's strength. I trust you will come up with a plan. Find the doppelganger and destroy it. You must succeed where I failed. He failed. The lieutenant will give you a proper briefing. Wow. Wow, that's that's a worry, isn't it? Think, Darian, are we going to work for them? Uh huh. Because I worked once and I didn't like it. I didn't <laughs> like it at all. Isaurus. They left us no choice. It's either that or you and Fallon would have been sentenced to death. Seriously? Oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Guys, you were both caught red-handed by the consort carrying forbidden tech. I could probably. No, Ilvana's decree this time, Celine. Trust me. Wow. So you're the scout who came out of the Black Ridge unscathed. For a legend, I thought you'd be more impressive. Darian's a living legend. And nobody told me. My brother has many secrets, Asaurus, even from his own sister. Wow. <sighs> We've received several reports from Harold Sir and Jackholm. There have been sightings of the doppelganger impersonating the commander. What was it doing exactly? Abducting people, it seems. It uses the appearance of the commander to order unsuspecting consort soldiers to conscript people by force. What? It just goes around knocking on people's doors and taking their children away? Uh, yes. That's not so different from how the consort operates these days. Ian, you'll kindly keep your sarcasm to yourself, deserter. So, those people, do we know where it took them? Your job is to find out. Every soldier on the continent is ordered to attack it on sight if it's seen outside the camp. This way, the creature won't be able to carry out its plans. You mentioned Harold Saw and Jack Home. What about Tyr Callum? Consort doesn't consider Tyr Callum to be inhabited. So you can raise it with all the people inside when you receive the order. Ah. Uh, 
So they're not aware of the conscription, since all the other cities are closely guarded now, I suppose. They are. Whichever town the creature decides to attack, it will need force to carry out its plans. Tier Callum's defense is solemn, solid. Jagholm is the most vulnerable. We should start there. By the way, your target seems to be controlling some strange automatons, like the one over there. Keep an eye out for them. Automatons? What are these purple shot? Ooh. Herald of the Gods. Talk to the consort soldiers staying in Jagholm. And I can summon my kitty now. You should start your investigations in Jagholm. Alright, I don't want to talk to him. I want to see what this cute purple stuff is. Man. How hard is it to investigate cute purple stuff these days? Ooh, what's that? Fireworms, earthworms, and cancer marshals. Wow, things just got exciting. Let's just accept all of those. Because I, I know we're going to get bored on the journey, so we might as well, you know, deal with it. Let's talk to all the soldiers, because that's exciting. Hey! What? Is it true what they say, that you saved the commander on the Black Bridge? Is that why he hasn't put you to death yet? Why don't you ask him? I respect the commander too much to imply that he owes his life to a deserter. Whoa. Okay, I didn't mean to start that conversation again. I was just facing in the wrong direction. Alright, let's go and see. Why don't you tell us what you really think? The consort is Harrian's last protector from the Archolites, from the corrosion. Okay, you can find... I'm thinking too, our team energy is at 77%, so before we go screeching recklessly off into the distance, we might let these guys have a nap. Which way you swing in the sword, lady? The consort has warned the Arcadians again and again and again not to use forbidden Archolite technology, and now they've lost their city and we have become their jailers. Everybody loses. Well, no wonder she's swinging that sword with that much savagery. What about you? How could you desert, soldier? You're part of the consort. Don't you have any pride? No loyalty? Ouch. Or Darian's copying a wallaking here. Ooh, crystal fruit. That's six. Let's uh, talk to this young lady over here. There are so many children among the refugees. We only have one toy chest and one crate of books. Why are you keeping them in such an inhos inhospitable place? Because right now, the consort could do without, without another night of St. Zenon. I wonder what that's about. Night of St. Zenon, it sounds bad. Oh, we should also, if there's, yeah, there looks like there's maybe some workshops here we, we could tool up before we head out. Okay, let's just explore a little bit. I know, I nearly ran off into the, the desert without looking what was there. We've got a little bit more time, so we, we can we can just... Every night I pray to Ilvana, Priestess. I even pray to Krator and Anselm. Pray for what? That these kids don't catch the corrosion? If they do, we'll be forced to do our duty. Oh, you poor thing. Hey, there's another. Let me just grab this. And this. And, of course, this is what we came for. All right, that's seven. Okay, wow. We are gonna get some sleep. This this looks terrible. Where, where did he take us? Arden's Lazuli. We're, we're picking up more stuff too when we pick it up, which is kind of good. Okay, we're not going that way yet. No siree. We have stuffs to make. Alright, what's she got? Okay, she's she's the one who's got the, the, uh, the bits and bobs we might need. Let's get these weapons up and running. Alright. He's got all of those, bar that one. So I must, I feel like I've missed a chest somewhere. She's, he's got all of those. He's got all of those. Okay, so Darian didn't get any new toys. Man, poor Darian. Okay, Celine's got all of those. She's got all of those. 
I think she's got the prototype, isn't it? She just needs the, um, well, let's give her that one. Boom. Nice. What else does she get? Does she get any more? No, I think she just had the one new weapon, so she's fine. All right. Prototype coil gun. Is that, That's Fallon's new toy, isn't it? All right, so what did Fallon get? We need two titanium scraps and one dark blue steel. I haven't found where to get dark blue steel yet, but if we're lucky, that young lady at the... Um... Oh, man, now I've lost her. Ooh, what's that? I will have that. Thank you. I, I think this ambrosia essence is a pretty good thing. Where did we... Hang on. All right, is this the lady we were looking at? Would we want two, two titanium scrap and some steel? Okay, so not not him. Where's the other one? We had it a minute ago. Okay, I can see some exclamation marks, so we're going to be, we're just going to take our time here. Okay, so not him. Is it this one? No, but there's a ton of stuff here that we can... All right, we're going to tool these guys up to the absolute max. I just don't know who needs what, so... Oh, wait, I can do this before I buy them. Darian might want to use those. I know, I might have bought something already. Let's some, um, that's, that's pretty good. I know. I, I spent 10 grand without blinking. Where's the merchant that I found before? Oh, she's over here. No, oh, I've lost it completely. I am lost. See, there's two. Oh, is she around the other side? Usually where you find useless baubles, you can find, um, this is not looking good. You can find titanium scraps, so now I'm a little bit worried. Maybe that's not the person I was looking for. I mean, it's not the person, I'm, it's, it's, she's not selling the goods I'm looking for, so. Alright, let's do this methodically, let's work our way. It's up there. Okay, nothing that we want to play with. All right, so this guy doesn't sell it. No, yes, he does. Here we go. Two titanium scrap. And we wanted blue. Blue steel. Maybe there's a dude who sells recipes. There usually is. Let's just talk to her because we haven't talked to her yet. No, 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 not. So, you're that guy, Darian. Rumour has it you came back alive from the Black Ridge, is that true? Rumours are often overblown. Yes, I can see that. Oh, man. All right, so not there. So sometimes in these places, there's someone who sells um, recipes. 
So you don't sell. Blue steel, right? No. Okay. And I didn't bother talking to you. I should... Okay, no, I did bother talking to you. And we haven't dressed our guys up in their new kit yet. So we're going to have to check that. Talk to this guy. It's our greatest pride to serve under Commander Cora. There's nobody as virtuous or strong as he is. Except the Imperator, maybe. Uh-huh. What's this? Okay, so I could make stuff. No, I'm not doing that just yet. What about you? Oh, yes. All right. It doesn't have any crafting, but we can now craft any of that if we bothered to do that before we bought it. Okay, so nothing over there. Let's just see if there's any more recipes around. Oh no, I collect them. I can't interact. That's the innkeeper. We've got to go there very, very shortly. Let's grab whatever that is. Power Stone, Nap, Cyclone, Slasher, Jamming, Spring, Rejuvenation, and Dodging Stance. Alright, so there's no one else. Let's, um, let's just head over this way. And I know, I'm just distracted by the treasure. We'll be fine. There he is. Hey, you would be going to Hrelsa anytime soon, would you? What for? There's a guy over there. He promised to deliver us some goods two weeks ago, but we haven't seen a thing yet. Your consort. If you ask the Hrelsa Council for goods, they're forced to comply. Yes, there shouldn't be any problem, right? But we still haven't received our delivery. Why? Buddy, can't you see we're at the ash end of the world here in Scorched Halcyon? We're already struggling just to get food out here. Now consider that the goods I'm talking about are not high priority. I think you get the picture. Why do you care so much about getting low priority goods? And why don't you mind your own business? I was, until you asked us if we were going to Harelsor. Is there a problem? Yes, there is. I'm angry, okay? We're consort soldiers. We're supposed to fight the Archolites, the corrosion, and look where we are. Here. Babysitting a bunch of stupid Arcadians who can't resist the urge to tinker with forbidden Archolite tech. You know you're talking about people who've lost their homes and their friends and family. Yeah, but for all we know, they might be carrying the corrosion because of all their tinkering. Well, if I didn't know any better, I'd say maybe they deserve it. But would you mean it? Oh. Yes, Priestess, I would mean it. Know how many years I've been doing this job, protecting people from themselves? If that's the only way people will learn, then so be it. I don't care if you can help, help me get the package anymore. I don't even know why I cared in the first place. But if we do visit Harelsor, who should we ask about it anyway? I said forget it. For all I know, bandits or monsters have attacked the convoy and destroyed the cargo anyway. A lost cause. Like everything else. We'll keep an eye out. Just don't, okay? I don't care anyway. Man, we're gonna do it anyway because because we can. All right, so I can't find blue steel. Um, I may find it when I go out adventuring and if I do I'm gonna come back and, uh, and do stuff. Build, build a, a new weapon for our very good Fallon. So that'll be fine. Let's, um, man, now what? Oh, wow. Astrian continent, the scorched Halcyon. Holy dooly. Oh, wow. This is where we're running around like lunatics. Well, nice meeting y'all. I'm out of here. You're more trouble than you're worth. Whatever you're doing, have fun count me out we're losing her guys i thought you knew how to deal with her i do but i didn't include the consort in the equation wait hmm 
Hey, Fallon. <laughs> it's good to see you've finally developed some common sense. This affair could be extremely dangerous. You should go. <laughs> what? What? Trust me, I'll do the groundwork. You deliver the final blow. This quest to save Harrion from the corrosion is a lot to handle. <laughs> it's better to do the logical thing and leave while you still can. A few oh. short and ice and a comfortable life is the way to go. Oops, did I say comfortable? I meant predictable. Uh -oh. Soros, you told me these guys would pay good money. Up till now, all I got is a whole pile of trouble. This, this priestess. Yes. Is that what I think it is? Yes. Oh, and what is it? It will be yours if you help us get to Avarice and take us wherever we need to go until we find a proper cure for the corrosion. If you try to double cross me, priestess, I'll put a cap in your head. I swear. And I swear to the gods that it will be yours if you uphold your part of the bargain. What has she got? Okay, we have a deal. <laughs> okay, we've got an inn scene unlocked. Oh man, I need to go find an inn. What I'm actually trying to find... Alright, so it looks like to get to that next exclamation mark, we're going to have to go around a river of lava, and I'm not quite ready to do that yet. So we'll toddle back to the inn without our blue steel that we need to make Fallon's new toy. But given she just about left on this, I'm not sure I want to make her a new toy anyway. Um, okay, I'll make her a new toy. It's fine. We'll just go find the inn. We might eat something good. Did I talk to... I did talk to him. I bought everything he had. Uh, we're going to go to the inn and we're going to save our stuff. Oh no, we're good. We're going to eat some stuff is what I'm thinking. All right, so we also want to give these guys... Greatly boosts stamina, leaves you with terrible breath. <laughs> Great. Minus 10 on defense, minus 10 on magic defense, but... Okay, silver stew, minus 5 resolve. Yeah, pulled a roco. That that looks good. Pillage flan. Flan magic haste, incantation speed, attack haste and resolve. We might go with this one. Yeah, see that's a higher level food. Alright, yeah, we're going to grab some pulled a roco. And we're going to go to these guys and they're sleeping in till 10. I don't know what that's about. But they can they can have a nap. Okay. We've done leadership. Trust. Okay, let's go for Fallon and Hesaurus. So, Hesaurus, Fallon, how did the two of you meet? Shut up, Hesaurus. I want to tell that one. I don't mind. Just be considerate when it comes to details, will you? Right. So, it was St. Zargon's night. St. Zenon? Yeah, right. So I was there, and it was a pretty apocalyptic night, right? With that gigantic corroded monster crawling out of the earth, and... You mean the amalgam? Yeah, the amalgam. The thing they got rid of by throwing it down a volcano. It's dead now. Who cares? The hundreds of soldiers who died fighting it. Damn. Do you want me to tell the story now or you don't? We do. We do. Please continue. Okay, so the consort having been used, have, have been using some of the big guns to fight that amalgam. Large guns they stole from the Archolite, because that's what the consort does, right? Jamming all of the Archolite technology to themselves. And a lot of the machines they used was broken during the fight. So I thought, ah, Felon, time to make a pretty penny. Go scavenging. Ah. Oh. I was picking stuff up along the wreckage in the dark when I suddenly heard some cries for help behind me. So I turn around to shoot down whoever is crawling up on me, but there's no one. Sh shoot down? But there was no one behind me, so I get back to the scavenging part and then I hear it again. Water. Water, please. I proceed to look a bit further and boom, what do I find? That sorry thing over there, minus two legs and an arm, half naked and crawling around and begging for water. His mouth full of grass because he was trying to suck the dew off it. Thank you, Fallon. What are you thanking her for? 
because she kept the sordid details to the bare minimum. Will you stop interrupting me already? Next one to speak, I'm putting a cap into this skull. So I check this guy and see he's got some stigma of the corrosion and scan him for some infection and there it is. There it is. The machine tells me he's completely okay. No corrosion. But he's still got the stigmas, right? And I realise this guy's a survivor of the corrosion and that means a huge, huge hope. No, load of money. Money. Hell yeah, a possible cure to the corrosion. Who wouldn't want to get their hands on that? Unbelievable. So, I just should have taken his Saurus, healed him back to health, transported him somewhere for free so that other people may find a cure and get to fatten their pockets by selling the cure. No way! Other people's survival is good, but i got to also think about mine, right? Problem is, Consort, Sanctorium, they'll attack me on sight. Ciphers are my best for bet for making some money. Besides, these geezers are loaded. Though they want everyone to think otherwise. So I barge into their place, kicking a few doors, with Isaurus, or what remains of him, crying in my arms. Until I find Tyrannus holding one of their boring daily scrap meetings, or whatever, in their conference room. I slam Isaurus on the table and yell, How much for him? <laughs> that one? She did slam me on the table. The geezers are looking at me, like, as if I'm interrupting their meeting with some kind of grave offence, and I repeat... This guy is the only known person to have survived the corrosion, so I expect you to pay me for this guy's worth. They put their ridiculous spectacles on their nose, squint a little, begin to approach Isaurus to look at him, and they just begin to blabber, throwing hypotheses around, and that's never a good sign. At this stage, I know they'll just end up dismissing Isaurus as a potential corrosion survivor. And all the while, Isaurus just can't stop crying, Kill me already! Kill me already! For the record, I really wanted to die. I can't believe what I'm hearing. But I was really in a pickle at that precise moment. I burned my last resources in the trip from Olympia to Astria, and I really, really needed that money. So, I go all or nothing. You take him right now into your lab, scan him with whatever stupid machines you guys have, and tell me if you need him or not. But I'll only leave you one hour. More than that, and I'll start shooting. <laughs> Fat one... So they take them into their lab, plug wires into him, and there I am, worried that they won't find anything, or worse, that they'll discover everything they need to know to find a cure, and that they won't need a Saurus anymore. Then one hour passes, and then they come back, and their faces, their faces tell me everything I need to know. They were all sheep, and they knew, I knew, they were ready for the shearing. So I dropped the bomb on them. A million hairs. Every time you try to argue, price will go up by a hundred thousand. One million? At 1,700,000 they finally yielded and I finally stopped crying. But that's horrible, is it? It's a good memory actually. You can't possibly be serious. How can you say it's a good memory, Isaurus? I've been kicked out from every place, banned from my city, of my family, roamed the world alone. I thought I had no value any for anyone, thought that the world would be better off without me. And then suddenly I was cured, but was there anything worth saving any more? I only had one left arm for crying out loud. But Fallon took me, and took me to people that would ultimately give me some limbs back. People who argued over me. People who wanted me. It was nice being fought over, after all this time, having value for someone, even if it was just a price tag attached. Being worth 1.7 million hairs was the icing on the top. A few months after the ciphers realised they couldn't synthesise any cure to the corrosion, so they slapped a few prosthetics on me and called it a day. But that evening, Fallon, it was a good memory. You're welcome. I understand. I, I think I like this story, actually. You are all crazy. Says Crazy Eyes. <laughs> Alright, that was a really long scene. I won't put you through another one today. The next one we're going to uh, read, uh, go through is them. And I, I think... Yeah, so Soldier Trick. Footsteps on this. Okay, yeah. We're going to have to go through a few of these. 
Uh, because, wow, Isaurus. There's an Isaurus and a Fallon one. Okay, let's get some sleep. And, uh, and we'll head out in the morning. All right. Your team received a food bonus. We did indeed. Can I summon my kitty? It's going to be quicker if I summon my kitty. Hello, Batavia. So good to see you. Okay. We're going to head for this other exclamation point uh, as soon as I work out how to get there. I think we found all the things in this area. I can't shortcut down there. I know I'm used to... In other games, I'll find a cliff like this and I'll just jump off. Okay, maybe not in Ark, because in Ark, if I do that, I get smushed. Um, and that's that's a bad feeling. But uh, in this in this one, it's it's not too bad. Ooh, Batavia, you found treasure? Oh, and you know what? We haven't dressed these guys in their gear. We might do that before we go any further. Alrighty. You better not find me a worm, cat. You know, I'm getting worried about all this ambrosia essence. Ooh. A chest. With a darkness shard. I'm starting to worry about those too. Alrighty. I'm actually not... Oh, fine. Alright, kitty. Alright, alright. You want to go that way? Oh, okay. How much trouble are you about to get me in? A stylish... You know, you are such a good kitty. Let's just stop right there. Grab our equipment bar. Okay, Nomad Helm. Now, I think the Reinforced Harness, yes, yeah, so we want that one. Because I don't think there's anything... Yeah, there's nothing better than that for him. Alright, Torso, Nomad Armor. Well, I should have known a matching set would look well. Did I... He didn't get a new toy, so he's stuck with that one. Nomad Leggings, why not? Oh, because... Let me just check something. All right, Isaurus gets the Nomad leggings. I might have to make some. Darian gets the steel rotary disc pants. Boots. Nomad boots are good. Oh boy. Yeah, Darian gets the boots. Hands down, that's best for him. And he's the one who gets hit the most. We really need to look after him. Nomad gloves are good. Yep. Darian gets those. Isaurus. On your head, a reinforced harness, because that's probably best for you. Your torso. I think you'd like a superior waistcoat. There's a dashing young fella. You haven't leveled up your sickle of absolution yet, so I'm not giving you anything new. You just got those pants. What are you talking about? Boots. I think we worked out there was nothing acceptable in the boot department for you. Gloves. Yeah, okay. Alan, I don't know if I want to give you anything. We're going to talk to Celine first. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, Celine gets the, the Karandu robe. Okay. And... Okay, so there, there doesn't look like there's anything in here for her. I probably should have had a closer look at some of the other stuff there. That's fine. Admonition. And she's got a new weapon. Yeah, all right, let's... let's new to her now so she's already leveled that one see quantum is more powerful but i'm thinking catalyst will be even better actually is that leveled yeah all right catalyst we'll go with and we'll, we'll do stuff for her in a minute runic leggings karandu pants looks good all right she gets the pants boots no, no. All right, so there's there's no boots that really suit her. What about gloves? Wow, she's she's not done so well out of the gloves. Let's have a look at Fallon and see what Fallon gets. Alrighty, nothing that she's gonna like here. Yeah, 
let's um let's not burden Fallon with new headgear. Torso. Uh, 10 power, so plus 9 magic. See, it's the minus on defense and the minus on speed that's got me. We're not giving her any of that. Quicksilver, drum and bass. Uh, no. I know, but it's a more powerful weapon. Quicksilver. Oh, wow, did we? It's a 41 power. Drum and bass is 46. You know, I don't know if there's any value in um, in powering them up completely. Yeah, no. The amount of effort we go to to get these guys some speed. She would not be impressed if I tore that away from her. That, however... Alrighty, so now we've geared Fallon up. We've geared, geared Asaurus and Selene and Darien up. Let's um, let's head into the Crystal Farm. Roaring Blade. Okay, so he's fine. Let's go, uh, Selene. We're back to square one again, aren't we, man? Alrighty. I know. I hate this bit. Purge and Water Rift look good to me, to be honest. Unless I can get Water Rift and something else. Okay, so let's do just a quick skim and see if we can get Water Rift and something other than Purge. No. Alright, so it's just a matter of finding Water Rift and Purge. Magic Haste and hit points. Magic and hit points. Magic and Magic Defense. I'm hedging towards that Magic Haste and hit points though. Attack and defense. See, that's that's not bad for her. Defense and haste. No, you know what? I think you're right. I think we'll go with that magic haste and hit points. There we go. Alrighty. So we got fire or we got ice. What gives me the longest chain? Uh, both of them. Alrighty. Let's see what we can get out of this. So, resurrection and falling stars. Ooh. Falling stars and ice rift. Uh, you know what? I think that wins. That wins the internet. Unless I can find something better here. Fire Rift 2. It's a more powerful spell though. That's pretty good as well. No, I think... Let's go with Resurrection and, um, and Falling Stars. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, who else do I've got to gear up? Fallon, drum and bass. All right, so short burst, attack, defense, incantation, speed. Incantation, speed, and speed is even better. Nothing gives her a double power, so. Magic, defense, and it. Okay, let's, let's just go with this one and uh, see what the difference is between blue Come at me and quickening gust. That kind of actually is really useful. And yellow won't catch me. Yeah, okay, no. We definitely won't catch you. I want this one. Magic defense and hit points. Here we go. Once more for the kitties. Defense, haste and hit points looks good. Magic, magic, defense and haste. I'm actually not sure what her best stats are. Let's go with that. All right, and Isaurus is completely powered up. He just needs to, you know what? Let's have a look at his at his weapon. All right, so he's got he's got three. All right, let's have a look and see if any of the okay. Have a look at the power levels. So 54, 56, 50, 67, and 77. All right, what's he got on him? We're staying with that one. It's easy. 
Alrighty. So we are definitely, oh my gosh, coming into, yeah, coming into the end of this session. What we might do is go beat up those earthworms over there and then we'll save our game. Let's go. Fireworms and earthworms. Well, I, I mean, they're worms, right? Let's go see what we can do with them. We've got can't find a quests way, for I'll them. Make one. Oh, this is not good. Darian, they want attacks from behind. Let's uh, let's do that. He's the only one who can do it. Isaurus, I think, I think we might bubble. There you go. Uh, Fallon. What does three do again? Drops a mine on a row of three nexuses. I don't know if these guys step anywhere. Oh my gosh, there's a wagtail. Uh, okay, well why don't we... <gasps> Tail slap? Rude. <laughs> Darian, I think you should shadow step your way through this one. And the mine will go off now. Celine. Oh, falling stars. Let's see what that does. Okay, I can get this one. Let's see how this goes. I know, I'm just trying all the new toys now. No, we don't want to do that. Let's um let's arc him up for the moment. <laughs> Did he just lose his no he didn't. Okay, Darien. I know. I I think let's see if Darien can trigger that mine on this guy. Does he have water? Is that water? It's icicle strike. Let's do that anyway. It's too far out. Well, we don't know if they're vulnerable to ice. I guess we'll just give it a shot. Okay. They're, they are vulnerable to ice. Look at that. Something else is about to go off. Fallon, what's this one? Let's try this thing. Okay. Boom. Excellent. That's what we want to draw it in. Uh, Darian. Why don't you just... I don't know. Oh, I know. Try electricity because I want to see if it's vulnerable to it. No. We know it's vulnerable to ice though. Isaurus. I think you can recharge. There's a good boy. <laughs> that that puppy is not not silly, isn't it? Is it? It's hit left. Ah, oh, Celine, you've got water. Drop drop the doggy. There you go. Fallon, you're out of ammo. So see, this is why I gave you an attack. There you go. Nicely done, girl. Isaurus, Isaurus, no Darian. Okay, so they're resistant to fire. Not a surprise given where they live. Ah, uh, Isaurus. Swish that. I know, we're all about to be blasted into different areas. I will uh, by this thing. To the gods. Boom. Oh, it's still there. That is annoying. Ooh. Darian, can you... You can't attack anything. Okay, get out of the arc of thing. Man... Rude. Fallon. You hop out of there too, sweetie. And Saurus. Oh, I think maybe... Actually, can you... You may, maybe should move. There hey. you go. <gasps> Wrong button. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. <sighs> Man, Darian, I think... I think you just need to attack that. Okay. Fallon, you can attack that. Choke on this. 
Uh, mm. All right. Take that, Darian. There you go. Fallon. No, Isaurus. Why don't you do something useful and not attack your oh friends for a change? Uh, Fallon, you can do the same. There you go. I know, she's so scornful. Darian. I'm, I'm not sure what happened just then. That was an interesting effect. Uh, we'll wash it. If, if it lives. Well, that was an interesting bunch of anim enemies. What did we get? All right, well, we got some... Wow, we, we got some leveling. That's kind of good. Fallon's got a bit of leveling to do. She went up. Celine went up. Isaurus is nearly there. So a toothed labiacea, which is a plant with an incredibly corrosive pistol with many medicinal and alchemic virtues. Earth scale, the scale of a worm imbued with the creature's elemental affinity to earth, a rare occurrence as magic is thought to usually flee dead bodies. Skitten tail. Hidden in this tail lies an incredibly supple yet resilient membrane which boasts many uses. Some monstrologists theorize that skittens spend a lot of time biting their own tail, which would explain why it would eventually get so sturdy. Forgotten paraphernalia. Strange relic retrieved from a burrower. Tentalium grey, earth scale, burrower's bowels, just ill, and fulgurite. Okay. Oh, no. Kitty? All right, all right. We're going to go and save our game now. And next episode, we will um, head out to... Wow, there are some really interesting things out here. We're going to have to explore them all. You know this, right? On the map. Oh, we're down there. Right, so we've got to go all the way back. Up, wow, up the Valorian Pass. Okay. My goodness. But isn't us coming back going to alert the doppelganger to where his, you know, prey is? I know. Let's save our game. And next episode, we'll get into that and see how we go. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And um, I'll check you later. Take care out there.